The National Weather Service is preparing for this year's monsoon. Are you ready? During Monsoon Awareness Week, we'll highlight several weather hazards you may encounter, including extreme heat, damaging thunderstorm winds, dust storms, lightning, and flash flooding so that you and your family can be prepared. Monsoon season and summertime in general means hot weather. Did you know excessive heat is the most dangerous weather-related hazard? It kills over 130 people each year. Take action to keep yourself safe during the summer heat by staying hydrated, wearing loose-fitting clothing, and limiting outdoor activities to the cooler part of the day. And don't forget about sunscreen. Yes, and never leave children, pets, or anyone for that matter unattended in a vehicle. The interior car temperature can rise above 120 degrees in the hot summer sun, which often can prove fatal. So this summer, beat, beat the, the heat, heat, check the, the back seat. seat. As thunderstorms develop in the monsoon season, associated hazards often begin to appear. Oftentimes, localized strong to severe winds can develop under monsoon storms, and these winds are known as downburst winds. Downburst winds appear when rain-cooled air accelerates beneath the storm towards the ground. As the rain-cooled air meets the ground, it is rapidly forced out in all directions with very high wind speeds commonly observed. These gusts can often be severe with wind speeds in excess of 60 miles an hour. These intense winds can cause damage to property and produce areas of blowing dust. Dust storms are a significant hazard in the desert southwest. The most notable impact is on transportation, especially highway traffic. If possible, avoid driving into dust storms. But if you are caught unexpectedly in a dust storm, pull off the main roadway, turn your lights off, and keep your foot off the brake. Wait it out until it's safe to proceed. Heed any dust storm warning notifications that you might receive on your cell phone. And lastly, pull aside, stay alive. Lightning is the most underrated thunderstorm hazard. Lightning automatically makes any storm a potential killer. People are killed by lightning in the United States every year. On average, over the past 10 years, about 30 people are killed from lightning strikes every year. Don't be one of those statistics. There's a few things you can do this summer to keep yourself safe. First of all, check the forecast before you head outdoors. Be prepared to move indoors when storms threaten. Maybe even consider changing your plans if storms are likely. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. As we like to say, when thunder roars, go indoors. During the monsoon, thunderstorms can often produce very heavy rainfall in a short amount of time. If the ground cannot absorb all that rain, it turns into runoff, which can lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding often occurs from thunderstorms that are either very slow moving or repeatedly form over the same area. Flooding tends to favor low-lying areas, such as creeks, streams, and low water crossings. If you find yourself in a flash flooding situation, seek higher ground immediately. If you're driving, turn around and don't drown. Hi everyone, it's time to wrap up this 2017 Monsoon Awareness Week. We hope you learned a lot from the prior information. We first talked about heat and heat waves, how dangerous those can be. Heat, the sun's heat on the desert floor is what starts our monsoon. That seasonal shift in wind then brings moisture, those bring thunderstorms, dust storms come from these thunderstorms, sandstorms, and even microburst winds come down from the sky. Other things that come from thunderstorms are dangerous and sometimes deadly lightning. If you're outdoors, not near shelter, lightning can be a real hazard. Then there's the flash flood. The heavy rain that can occur way up the hill and come crashing down the mountain, even when it's not raining at your location. All these things are important to understand the science and the impacts of these hazards. Now that we understand them, we can be more prepared and be safe for the summer 2017. Thanks for tuning in.